Hi, my name is Kamis Mosariza, the Managing Director of Super Yacht Shipyard LLC, and I want to speak about some of the precautions that are taken before a hurricane for super yachts, and I want to talk about can super yachts survive a hurricane. Uh, first off, many, uh, most of the yacht owners who had yachts uh, docked in various slips throughout Florida uh, because of the risks from Hurricane Ian have had to, and, and other hurricanes as well, have had to uh, store their boats away, store them in a, uh, you know, a hangar-like garage for boats and they're held there. Uh, mostly boat yards uh, have uh, facilities that they rent out. Marinas have a, a boat yard with facilities that they rent out specifically for uh, storage. And you'll see that during hurricane season in Florida, which happens to be during uh, the, some of the hottest times of the year, which is summer. So um, it's important to take precautions uh, and I hope that everyone did take precautions because uh, Hurricane Ian isn't the first hurricane and it won't be the last hurricane that's going to be coming towards Florida, whether it be West Coast or East Coast or uh, Southern tip of Florida. Either way, it's a regular occurrence and it has to be taken seriously and precautions always have to be taken uh, to prevent accidents. And that's what it is. Now, can a super yacht survive a hurricane and, and the first thing you would ask is why would a super yacht uh, steer its course and navigate into a hurricane that would be difficult to answer and you would have to ask the cap captain uh, why they would want to make such a decision but uh, depending on the hull okay a mono hull would probably uh, fare worse than a, a catamaran or a trimaran hull in a hurricane, uh, have super yachts survived and gone through hurricanes? Yes, but they haven't steered directly into the hurricane in order to test that. They've, you know, steered away from the hurricane and, and still they, they felt the effects, uh, but they were able to survive and get through it. And that's what it is. Cargo ships and container, uh, container ships uh, on a regular basis have to go through extremely rough seas and rough weather so that's a regular occurrence and something that they have to deal with so uh, can super yachts survive uh, a hurricane depending on the weight of the super yacht depending on the shape of the hull of the super yacht yes they can all right but again uh, a, a a a swath hull catamaran swath hull uh, would fare much better than a mono hull okay when it comes to something uh like a hurricane uh so it, again it depends on the hull shape the hull type uh it would depend on the uh, gross tonnage weight of that vessel so these are various things that would have to be taken into effect but uh number one it, it, it would be the hull that would uh, determine whether a super yacht would be able to uh, survive something like you know 300 kilometer per hour or 400 kilometer per hour uh, gust winds so or gale winds so uh, that's that that's a serious matter and, and, and obviously you should always steer away from a hurricane and a captain uh, worth his grain of salt would absolutely uh, plot a course that would steer away uh, navigate away from any potential uh, natural disaster like a uh, or a natural phenomenon like a um, hurricane. So uh, again, be safe, take it seriously. Hurricane Ian uh, is again, is not the first that, that's hit Florida. It won't be the last to hit Florida. And it's a regular occurrence, especially during the hottest time of the year, which is summer. It's a regular occurrence uh, annually. And it's always best to take precautions and store your uh, boat away. Uh, put your yacht away uh, or um, you know navigate out of the way of disaster or navigate out of the way of um, the hurricane coming at you that's obvious and, and, and I just hope everyone stays safe and 
uh, drop your comments below and, and let me know what you think. Uh, thank you so much for watching.